Good morning. Today is the first Sunday of the month and that means my cycling club's regular meet-up and club run. <laughs> well, I've met up with my cycling chums. Haven't got a massive group today. We've got my mate Dez and Luke from Team Axiom. And then we've got somebody called Nick and his son Freddie. I think the plan today is to do about 50, 60 kilometers. So it should be a good one. I enjoyed the group rides out in Italy so much that I thought that I'd really like to do it again here in the UK. So I've arranged these monthly club runs with my cycling club chums and hopefully I can uh, go out and enjoy the group experience again if I can hang on. The joys of riding around the Hampshire lanes at harvest time. The great thing about riding with a group is that you tend to ride a little bit faster than you would if you were riding on your own. Basically you're trying to keep, um, keep up with everybody and stick on their wheels. It's not quite so much fun when you lose contact but um, yeah that means you just need to choose your group with a bit more care. Plus, it's also generally a lot more social and a bit more fun. If you're right used to riding on your own quite a lot, um, I suggest just giving it a try sometime. This is going to be one of these tough parts of today's ride. We're just going up sheep pond lane which is quite long that's about one and a half kilometers with a gentle climb and then we'll turn and we'll go up beacon hill which is about twice as long and twice as steep when you are on a climb section on a club run you've got two choices try and keep up with the rest of the group We'll do like I'm doing and just ride it at your own pace. And if you're with a good group, they should wait for you at the top. Ooh. Just ticking my way up Beacon Hill here. I've already lost contact with the group. It's a 5% climb at the moment, so I'm just pedaling at my own pace as best I can. But like the last one, they'll be waiting at the top for me. So, okay, I'm cycling on completely new territory now. I've driven along this road many times, but I don't think I've ever cycled along it. And if memory serves me, I think this is actually the South Downs Way linking Winchester to Eastbourne. We're just going through the village of Titchbourne and again this is a road that I've never ever cycled down I've never driven down but Des seems to know it quite well and it seems to be very popular with cyclists All right. well that was very pleasant Shame the pub wasn't open. 
only a couple more kilometers now and we should be in the town of Allsford and I'm hoping that we're going to have a bit of a refreshment stop there. I can certainly feel that I need one. Well, that was a nice little refreshment stop there at the Station Cafe in Allsford. Uh, that's not a normal uh, station. It's on the old Watercrest line, so it's one of these heritage steam train lines. It doesn't really go anywhere apart from Allsford to Walton. Very nice um, thing to do on a Sunday afternoon. So that's 55 kilometres so far and I would say we probably have about 40-50 kilometres to get back as well now. So this is going to turn out to be my longest ride of the year so far. Hopefully, depending on the route we take, we won't have to go back over the downs. It might be slightly less hilly. Well, I knew we had to have a climb at some point, and this looks like it. That was a short, sharp toffee topping out at 10%. just on 70 kilometers in now and I'm starting to feel it a little bit I think it's mainly in my legs and just the fact that I've been sat on a bike for four and a half hours or so uh, yeah next thing is going to be to climb up Mercury so that's gonna be pretty tough but then after that should be downhill all the way home last big climb of the day which is mercury and that's a tough climb at the best of times but i've got nearly 80 kilometers in my legs now so it's going to be extra tough today particularly in this heat blimey thank heavens mercury's behind us des and i did a little kind of right turn off the top there and hit a 16 percent section that was really tough but yeah just heading down into Denmead now for a second refreshment stop so there we go that's today's ride done and dusted and it's actually the longest ride of the year that I've done so by the time I get back after this quick refreshment stop it will be about 95 kilometers so yeah quite a ride for me today particularly in this heat thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one